this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. Here's a quick look at what it looks like to use a button action to open another app here within TouchChat. This is TouchChat with WordPower 60 Basic, but you could do this in any of the vocab files. I've added it under groups. I've put a dark blue border around groups to make that button stand out. And because I have other things under here as well, I have some videos saved for that particular client. And then ChoiceWorks is up here in between thing and bugs because there was an empty button available there. And I wanted to make it be where you could quickly get um, to it. So I'm going to go to edit page, tap this button so you can see what button action I used. The symbol that I used is just the icon from the app store for that particular app and I just found that online and imported it. I'm going to open app, open app, choice works, choice works. Choice works calendar is a separate app um, that's more of like a month at a glance and then you can tap and get into a particular day but if you're wanting more of the visual supports um, I would stick with the original app. So let me get out of that so you can see what it looks like and I'm going to pause my video and, and take it back up um, here in a second but when you first open it up, you can see the orientation has changed. So I'm going to pause and come back. All right, so I flipped my iPad into portrait orientation to match what's here in ChoiceWorks. And you get all this pre-done content as examples. You can edit any of these. You can add your own content. You can set up profiles for different users. So here's an example of a schedule. I'm gonna reset this and hang up go it shows having some video you don't have to have video but that could be helpful hang for video go. modeling of what all done it needs to occur and then as you Reading. drag these over all done they show that Wash they've been hands. completed all done you here's an example of one have a snack that doesn't have any sort of video attached have to a it. snack all done and you can see it's scrollable, so you're not limited. This could be as long as your list needs to be. Um, and then down here Read at the bottom book. is where you get to choose get a drink. what's going to come next. Um, in order to get back, go like that. So you can narrow these down to schedules waiting, feelings, feeling scale or all. So I'll direct you over to the ChoiceWorks website for information about how you do all of this. But using it within TouchChat, one other issue besides the orientation being potentially different is see how it's a tiny little area up at the top left to navigate back. Okay. And then if I go into Guided Access, watch what happens. And that would be for trying to open any secondary app. Guided Access locks you into just one app. So even though it's linked, that's not gonna work if your user is in Guided Access. Um, so let's get back out of this and show once I'm out of guided access, that works. Your other option for navigating back to touch chat, if you have a user that can double click, you can double click and then tap that way and go back and forth. So it's a really nice option to be able to do this. It just, as I've shown, has some quirks that you need to be aware of when setting it up for a user.